How can you join a Discord server? I prefer doing it on the desktop app. So make sure to download the Discord desktop app. In most cases, you can just click on a link and you will join a Discord server. So if I have my Discord link here and I click on that, you'll see that it will open here and it says continue in Discord app. Now we can see that I joined my own Discord server and I'm in the rules and rules section right here. I already was part of my own Discord server, so I didn't actually join, but it just got me back to the base page where you normally get in when you join and it will open a server. So if I was in a different server, it would bring me back to the server that I just joined. But what if this is not working? What if you click on a link and it's not working and you have your link, but it doesn't do anything. What we can do is we can scroll down here and it has this plus button at server. We're going to click on that. This is also where we can create our own server. We can also create it from a template, make a gaming server, a school club or a study group. But it says here, join a server. So we're going to click on that. And here we can put in a server link. So if we have the server link here, I'm going to copy this one, which is my own server link. I'm going to paste it here and then I'm going to click on join server. Server links look like this. If you look at the end of this, this would be my server link. This is already the server link. But you can also have slash cool people. That's if people have partner links, they do not have like special characters like I have, but they do have like their own name. So for example, slash tree. I don't have that because I don't have a partner link. Or if you have Nitro upgraded. So if you have your server be boosted by Nitro, people can have a special custom link. We don't have that. So we do have random characters like we see right here. And we can just click on join server. There's also this button here that says check community servers. If you click on here, you can find a bunch of community servers here to join. So if you do not have any link to a server, you can still join, for example, the Helldivers community. I'm going to show you more of these servers later on as well, because you can really search a lot here. There's just a couple of servers here, but it's not really searchable. There's a search bar, but you can scroll through more than these. Let's go back here, join server, paste the link and join server. And boom, we're back here at the rules and rules in my own server. So if you are already in the server, it will basically bring you back to that server and to the channel that you are default going back to. If you join a new server, you will actually join a new server and it will be popping up in here as one of the new servers you have joined. So here we do have the page, find your community server. And here we can find a lot of them. Like you see, we can actually scroll to 3,179 servers and we can actually categorize them as well between gaming, entertaining, education, science and tech and music servers. Oh, it's 3,000 pages, of course, not 3,000 servers. It's 38,000 servers. These are all community servers. These are not private servers. So if you make your own server, it will not be displayed in here unless you make your server a community server. You can also explore. So for example, if you like Fall Guys, you can find Fall Guys servers. So these are all Fall Guys servers or something with Fall Guys in the name. So these are not really Fall Guys related, but these are definitely Fall Guys related. So this is the official verified one. And then you have like some other people that have Fall Guys communities. Let's say Stardew Valley, Stardew Valley. And then we will see some Stardew Valley communities here too. So this is how you find them. Um, if you like plants, you will see some plants communities as well. So you can do this with literally anything. You can search them. I'll leave the link to this page where you can search them underneath in the description so you can easily find more servers. If you're searching for a server to chat with me, you can also join my community server. Link is down below in the description. We talk a lot about gaming because I do love gaming. Other ways to find servers is game developers usually post their links to their gaming servers. So where you have the Fall Guys one, uh, the Fall Guys. This one is verified. This verified server is usually placed inside the game. For example, you see the Discord logo. Developers of software usually post the Discord logo in their software. Teachers share their links for school Discord servers with their students. Just try to keep an eye out for this Discord logo. If you see that somewhere, that probably means that somebody is sharing their Discord server with you. Then how can you join one via your phone? Again, you need to download the Discord app. So if you have a Discord server open, what you need to do is you need to swipe left and then you need to swipe down. I do have a lot of servers, so I need to go all the way back down. And then again, you see this plus icon and here you will see again, join a server. 
So I'm just gonna click on join the server and here we can join the server link. You can place the server link here. And again, you can just click on the server link if you have the Discord app installed. If you have the app installed, it will automatically open the app for you whenever you have a server link. And you can paste the server link in here if it does not work for you. So just at the bottom left here, if you're in a server, swipe to the left and then here at the bottom left, you will have the plus and then join the server. When you join a Discord server, you can get a lot of notifications. So be aware of that. Sometimes there is notifications that you do not want to get. I do have a video on how you can manage your notifications. So you do not get the notifications you do not want to get. And you do get the notifications that you do want to get. So hop into this video with me on how to manage your notifications in your Discord servers. I'll see you there.